It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Got you in the nuts. Hey there. And here we go. As you can tell, we're back live. <laughs> Got you in the nuts. Sorry, Christy. Cut it out. Hi, I feel, Tom. I feel a cuss word coming on from me this morning. I don't know why. Did you ever get kicked at the groin, little lady? Uh, not kicked, no. I don't fell on a balance her. beam or two. I think I told you that. You know, my bruiser. <laughs> All right. Cubist bone. What's yeah. the, what's the uh, equivalent of hitting a, a man in the balls though, for a woman? What would that be? I, I don't know. Yeah. See? Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome to our Punching her in the ovaries? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, huh. I've been, never Off to been a good start. <laughs> Before Tom starts yelling at me, it's the Bob and Tom Show Live! July 19, 2021. How about them Olympics, huh? <laughs> hey, <coughs> they're coming. Hey, Tom, how are you? Hey, Chick, how are you? Hey, Josh. Hey, Chicky. Ace Cosby. Willie. Chick. There he is, and back to Big Daddy. It's weird wearing long pants again. Right. You are? After being on vacation. You're allowed to wear shorts in here. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what he says to me? He says this to me every morning. What? Uh, a Don never wears shorts. <laughs> he heard that on The Sopranos one time at a cookout, and he... No, 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 no. no. Uh, yes, Tony, yes, 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 yes. Tony wears shorts at a cookout. Yes, that's and what then, I... What did I just say, you exactly but, but an actual said. gangster, right? Yeah, uh, but... And the, yeah, but and the then, old Don comes in and, and, and looks at him and goes, hey, come on, a Don doesn't wear shorts. And, oh! And Tony goes, oh, okay. Based on something that happened in real life, I, I think. Yeah, I, I think thought, so, I thought yeah. someone in real life, you had approached the actor James Gandolfini and told him a Don would not wear oh, shorts. Oh, I didn't think that. Well, maybe it did, and I then think they that's put what it in the happened. show. Um, but in any event, uh, oh, yeah, it's I, weird wearing long pants again after a week of shorts on vacation. Uh, so you've got tan legs? Is that what you're telling me? Uh, yeah, you toast up those gams? <laughs> well, uh, uh, I would wear pajama p bottoms, kind of beach pants most of the time. <laughs> pajamas no, on the you, pajama Willie, you say Willie. pajama bottoms, you said it like beach pants, like that's what people call them. No, they're your beach pants, and they're crazy. What are they? They're like seersucker, they're oh, like nice. white, and yeah. Oh, boy. Like gray okay. seersucker. Drawstring. Would you call me? That sounds like something you would wear on a beach, yeah. right? The problem, yeah. though, is... Um, the drawstring broke day one. <laughs> well, what? how do you handle that hog? You can't keep it back. There we go. You, you can't. You can't tie down that hog. You can't. You can only hope to contain it. So you yeah, can't we, stop it. We were. Uh, we took. Uh, we took Finn and Willie uh, and uh, did that thing where you tow the raft behind the boat. No. It's called tubing. Tubing. Yeah. Yes. You got to know these words by the whole tubing. And, and, uh, oh, did my, you use Jeffrey's tubings? <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> my legs got a little burned, but uh, yeah, I got to wear some weird tan lines. It's mostly ankles, I don't, I don't ankles know and arms. Who sure. doesn't know? want to know anything about their, his tan lines? I don't want to know anything about oh, his I tan just, lines. See everyone. Oh, I do. I'm <laughs> fascinated. The weirdest one is my head. Oh. Where's the where's the tan line there? Well, yeah. I wear a, a special bathing cap. Special. <laughs> <laughs> it's I know, man. It's, it's crazy. Willie, you had to have taken. I look like you know. Hold it, Willie. Did you see this live? <laughs> yeah, it's so weird, you guys. I'm so I'm so happy to be with He's you. He's in a Busby again. Berkeley, and we can't even talk about Esther it. Williams. And more it's like it's a, very, a very old Esther Williams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like Dick Van Dyke and Shitty Shitty Bang <laughs> Bang. Is that what it's It's like a costume. Talk about Daddy a Warbucks out there in the ocean. Oh, you guys, my God. Bald guys know this. If if you're in the tropics <laughs> and you go and you go swimming, yes. Who refers to it as the tropics? The, the, top, the, the Caribbean. Top, the top of your head starts frying. Yeah, this is something I am learning. Yes, and, I mean the top. Nothing burns like the top of your head. And yeah. sunscreen doesn't work. And sunscreen, no, it does oh. not. I'm oh, sorry. okay, it does work for me. I just I'm I'm at a point where I'm forgetting to put it no, no, there. You, you, I look kind of like um. Oh, well, this God. is going to be hard to word without getting Well, take your hat off. I just hang on a second. I got to think this through. <laughs> um, what do you call the uh, things, Ace? A lot of the uh, uh, players in the NFL wear the black. Uh, oh, he's going to say do rag. Do -rag. He, he, say do -rag. he wanted to say, what do a lot of the black guys wear? <laughs> That's what he wanted. Let's get to the point. Hey, Ace, what do the black guys say? You know, when they're doing it, I'm talking. What, how do they talk? Can you help us? You know what I'm talking about, Ace? The, 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 like the skull cap. Right. That's exactly like what a, it's not called. Not like a yarmulke. Yeah. Have, no, it's a skull cap. No, right. it's nothing like a yarmulke. It's bigger, well, well, much bigger. <laughs> it's like it's like that guy, the one the Pope wears, kind of between a beanie and a yarmulke, but it's like a skull cap. 
but it's designed right. for swimming, and that way the top of your head doesn't get all burned. He's got that hat, he's got a few ball caps, and he's got this weird, like, fisherman's hat yeah. with a drawstring that he oh, ties yeah. up here, and uh, that's right. happy on the side. Oh, Marlon yeah. Brando. It's like you're in the Yaya sisterhood. <laughs> yes, I have, that's right. I have some photographs. You've got to have a... Anybody out there that has very sensitive skin, such as yours truly, yes, and you, you got to be careful, skin cancer and stuff's out there big time, and I'm a big candidate, so I wear lots of... Uh, as my dermatologist said, uh, for you, sunscreen should be clothing. Mm. So, uh, a big floppy hat with a drawstring. <laughs> yes. I'm from the Helen Mirren Beach Collection. That's right. I'm just so happy to be back with you guys again. It's just been me and him for a few days, and it's been nuts. Oh, it's been totally nuts. Willie. We have, some, we, have some, we have some pictures. But, uh, yeah, oh, good. Had a nice time in the Bahamas. Good. The usual travel hassle, so it's a little bit more difficult than normal <laughs> because of the COVID thing. You've got to have... Um, you know, just a couple of things. A semen sample from the president of the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah. That's yes, a health clearance from Fauci himself. And <laughs> Did you have to have a COVID test? <laughs> yes. Wow. You have to have a COVID test before you leave. The Bahamas. Yes. Yeah, so, no I was, kidding. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And you but not have, to get in the Bahamas. No, to get in, you've got, yeah, to get in, you have to have a... A have wink and a nod. You have to send them <laughs> photographs of your uh, COVID Vaccination vaccine. Code. Then you've got to fill out this form. All right. Well... That is, uh, I mean, it's a solid hour filling that thing out. You have to, you have to have the lot number of the vaccine, where you got it. But that's uh, all available on the, the card, right? The way. It's all the, the Pope's girlfriend's maiden name. They require a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's but why no, I didn't leave. But, I didn't but, leave my house. Did but you? Well worth it. <laughs> well worth it. Oh, I, no, I went. Uh, I went unexpectedly to a Cyprus. It was uh, lovely. To uh, a what? Mm. Cyprus, the country. Uh, oh, oh, did you? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I, I yeah. was like, just a why was I, I, you, you told me there was nothing available this time of year. <laughs> no, no, I, I lucked into something off uh, Paphos. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it was lovely. So you're, you're essentially, so you're a Cypriot. I thought you're about a going to Cypriot. I, I thought about going to Coral <laughs> Bay, but yes. I, I flew to Cyprus. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here's why I'm lying like that. <laughs> I'm walking around the mall, I don't know, Wednesday... <laughs> And of course, I can't go anywhere without drawing a crowd. Yeah, well, so, oh, it's it's like, Chick, what's going on? Aren't you on vacation? I go, yeah. Aren't you supposed to be somewhere? And I go, no, I, I just uh, actually uh, cleaned out a bunch of closets for vacation. I had a very productive uh, vacation. I uh, I took 20 bags to, to good, the Goodwill and uh, wow. some shoes and, and clothes. And mm -hmm. He goes, well, hell, somebody like you should be on vacation. A sunny place. So the next person walked up to me. Where are you? Chick, you should be on vacation. <laughs> And that was on a Thursday. So at that point, I started saying, I just got back from Cyprus. And <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> and depending on, when, in the week, when they saw me and asked me, I, would, I just got five days in Cyprus. You should try it. How was the and weather there? Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. We, lucked out, we lucked out to only a little bit of rain. And you know what? The dollar, strong in Cyprus. Mm, oh, my I don't God. even know where Cyprus so is. No, well, you think, it's off, you think it's off, it is off Greece, but it's closer to Turkey. Isn't that interesting? Really? That is and interesting. My, yeah, my lying. Yeah, the Cypress Hill. My, oh, that's right. That's great joke. My lying is off the chart with the, with, with the internet. I can just, uh, oh, yeah. It's I mean, uh, seven hours, story. Uh, 14 oh. hours ahead in Cyprus. Oh. And, and, and our yeah. first vacation in two years, where'd you go? The mall? I didn't even get that far. That's kind of sad, really. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> hey, vacations are different for everybody, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. You kind of changed our vacation I at the last in, minute. I, I lucked into a friend with a pool, and I, I spent the, a day nice. there. That was exactly, mm. that was uh, very exciting. Okay, Josh, did you uh, do any fishing? Or, uh... No, no fishing, uh, but uh, yeah, plenty of uh, recharging. Plenty of, uh, yeah, very productive, Josh very relaxing. I, Josh and I gave us each other little vacation gifts. We would start the day out going, hey, want to have a movie today? <laughs> And it would be, uh, one of us would say, uh, oh, yeah, let me think. Or, uh, okay, let me get back that to you. never got to it. Uh, we finally did decide yeah, to we go. Said, okay, let's go to the movie. What'd you go see? Uh, and I said, let's go to the movie tomorrow. And he goes, okay, I'm in. And he texts me in the morning. He goes, okay, you want to go to a movie or you want to cancel? And I go, oh, I better cancel. <laughs> <laughs> we did it all week. I never felt I believe I said, life. what would you enjoy more, going to the movie or canceling? Right. And you went, yeah, man, I'm going to cancel. <laughs>
surprise. Well, there's our surprise. Um, <laughs> we have been joined uh, uh, from England by our by our English <laughs> correspondent, uh, Declan Evans, who yeah, we, we met when uh, Declan uh, set, I believe it was the world record for consuming... Capri Suns. Uh, Capri Sun, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, we enjoyed talking to him so much, and apparently he was recently at Wimbledon. Declan, how are you, sir? Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad. How's everyone going? Oh, it's good, good to see you. Good to see you, man. Now, are, are we interrupting you at work or something today? No, no, I'm back home in the hotel of mum and dad. So ah, very good. I'm no longer a student. I'm just unemployed. So <laughs> nice. did you graduate? Yeah, I've, I've just graduated literally five days ago. Well, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh, right. what, were you, what were you studying? I was studying forensic science. So, oh, oh. Yeah. Is, is that like undertaking and um, <laughs> aut 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 autopsies? <laughs> is that like autopsies and stuff? It's very ghoulish. Yes, not, not quite. More, more drugs, more drugs and murders. So. Oh, okay. Now, I, what is the? Um, you're wearing some kind of sports shirt. Is it says Aria E R R E A? What is that? Oh yeah, so yeah, so I'm wearing just the uh, the football shirt of my uh, local football. Well, Soccer. I don't really want to say uh -huh. that word, but my, my local soccer team, uh, Lincoln City. So if you want to, if you want to follow a team, that's the team you want to follow. Ah, hmm. And right. have, have you by chance seen the uh, television program Ted Lasso? Oh yes, yeah, I've seen. That. I, I really like that. I was say, yeah. You, you do like? Okay, because I love it. And I was say I absolutely loved it. It was stupid, but it was good to watch. Yeah, yes, stupid. yes, stupid. Stick uh, with that one. Yes, but it's so joyful and happy. And uh, you see, Jason Sudeikis is so terrific. He's it. he's like an American, but but he's in England. I mean, Josh hasn't seen it. He's being a jackass. Talk about one. a fish uh, out of water. You guys call cigarettes what? <laughs> there are very few jokes like that. They don't I do bet that. it's all that. No, it's not boot, trunk, all that stuff. Uh, so, uh, Declan, were you actually, did you attend Wimbledon in person? Yeah, so pro about 10 days ago, probably. Uh, well, yeah, I went to Wimbledon down for the day, so that was good fun. As I say, pretended I had a lot more money that I didn't have. So, mm -hmm. as I say, sat at had some strawberries, got unnecessarily drunk. On, on the <laughs> Now we're talking. What All was right. your drink of choice? Uh, as I say, I was having a few Stellas, and then oh. it was just, yeah, eight. it was about $8 for a beer. And it was just sure. No, rip it, off. That it, was the real crime right there. No. <laughs> at the, at the, uh, for example, in, in America, at the Kentucky Derby, one is supposed to drink, Christy. Mint julep. A mint julep. Yes. Uh, and at Wimbledon, the uh, sort of... It's, Pims. it's meant to be Pims at Wimbledon. Pims. Uh, Pims Cup. Yeah. And so say Pims or, or a gin or just anything a uh, rich person. What is drink. a Pims? <laughs> a uh, it's, it's like a strawberry liqueur almost. You meant to have it with lemonade. It's, no, you'd really? love you would love it. Oh really? Yes, it's, it's, it's right up your alley. You <laughs> and then, but what's this? That you're supposed to eat? What is it? The strawberries and cream or strawberries something? Strawberries and cream. Strawberries yeah. and cream. You meant to sure. Yeah. As I say, very expensive along with everything else in London. <laughs> but what, what match did you see? It. Do you remember? What uh, as I say, probably the, the big match was was Andy Murray. As oh. I say, as I say, it was an American, but I can't remember his name off the top of my head. I say we saw the end of the uh, the Venus Williams games as well. Mm. So that was cool. Good. That was good that is cool. Who did, did you did you have a date? Oh no, really sad. But I went with my mum. So not sad at all. That's sweet. Oh. Yeah, uh, it's very as sweet. I say, as I say, yep, yeah, she paid. I was going to say, she bought you your eight dollar beers. <laughs> Yeah, good. Once again, we're speaking with uh, with Declan Evans, the <laughs> only the second Declan I know. The other being, of course, Elvis Costello. Um, do you? Uh, are you, you know you Elvis Costello? I didn't know that. I mean, it's the one I've, I've heard the name. Is there who's the other Declan in the? We have a friend who has a son named Declan. Okay, okay. Um, do, what is your nickname? Very rare like, to find a fellow Declan. So. Is your nickname like Decky or <laughs> Big Deck? <laughs> Big Daddy, Big Daddy Deck. Decky man, <laughs> biggest deck in England. Yeah. Now he's turning enough, red. I, I do go off big deck sometimes. So. Big deck. All right. It's a wrap, Ma man. Mainly because I just drink a lot of beer, to be honest. So. Oh, I see. No. Yeah. <laughs> they, call me, uh, they call me big drunk. <laughs> I like, normally, yeah. probably the correct name would be alcoholic. But <laughs> All right. Better than what I had. Congratulations. So, Declan, uh, congratulations on the graduation. Yes. Thank you very much. And you. Um, when, when you hang up, I want you to give uh, your shirt size to Dean. I want to send you, some, uh, send you a nice shirt. But, yeah, thank um, you. Are, what, what kind of a job are you looking for? Oh, so I'm going to be in September. I'll be I'll be a teacher at uh, a high school. 
So oh, the good. ball goes well. Ah, those who can't do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is yeah, your... Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Heard that. The greatest uh, greatest people in the world are teachers. Both of my parents were teachers. Love so teachers. Josh, what's, thank you very what much. subject will you be teaching? Uh, I'll be teaching biology and physics. Oh, cool. So cool. Bunch of well, no attempting to at least. That's the plan. What what grade? Uh, so probably be grade trying to seven to thirteen. Okay, like, like that'd be so like a middle school from, here. Or yeah, junior so high. From anywhere from like eleven years old all the way up to eighteen. It will okay. be. Oh, Do wow. you know anything about either topic? Oh, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm meant yeah. to have just done a science degree, so I'm meant to know something, but... <laughs> sure. I, think, I think that's what they'll say in your uh, review. Well, he's doing his best. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, will they? Will you be? Will your title be um, Mr. Evans or uh, Professor Evans or Master It'll be Evans? Mr. Evans. Mr. Evans. I'm not, I'm not smart enough to be a professor. Yeah, so. he's not teaching at Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> they in, insist that you go by Master Evans. Please. Um, I... Are you familiar with Hogwarts? Have you read the... <laughs> Are you familiar with Hogwarts? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Have you ever been to Middle Earth? <laughs> you ever played Quidditch? Have you, ever... you ever seen Jeffrey Chaucer over there? Kiss a Hobbit? Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. You are quite the interviewer. <laughs>
Declan? I try. I tried to, but as you can see, I'm a little bit fat, so I can't run very far. <laughs> well, you could be a keeper. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I tried that as well. My, my hand-eye coordination is very poor. Oh yeah, sorry about the European uh, Championship. Yeah, there, that was oh, something. That was a... Don't bring, don't bring that up. Uh, <laughs> uh, nearly cried that night. Oh, oh man, I thought when that uh, that that uh, guy from uh, Italy, that Italian, when he missed that one, I, I, when he, I thought, well, England's got this in the bag, and then they missed. Oh like, yeah, the, uh, I was just, it, oh, it was a, they went from hope to dismay to yeah. hope. And it, I just I don't like the way they end the games like that. What a do you think they people, should do? A I mean, lot of people. You, you know, I say they run them ragged <laughs> until the players hold up their hands and they can't continue. Now, would you like it if in the NBA, okay, well, it's tied. Uh, we're going to have each each team gets to take five free throws. Why not? Because it's. Well, if you got uh, Giannis up there knocking the balls away, uh, I think. You know, why not, I don't know, have them knock over the cans at the State Fair? Come on. Well, that was, that was the worst to... thing to happen in England since Robbie Williams. <laughs> oh, oh, you got to shake oh, his head on that one. He's, a national, right he's <laughs> a national treasure. <laughs> isn't, there, is, isn't there a Robbie Williams joke in Ted Lasso? God, I, I have no always, doubt. Yes, I can't yes, imagine what it is, but I'm there sure is. it's hilarious. He was supposed to play at yeah, the gala. Really, yeah. That was really funny. Mm -hmm. Actually, the guy they got is amazing. Yeah, the one-man yes. band dude? Yeah, yeah, the yes. one-man band guy. Oh, I amazing. thought you didn't like the show. Oh, suddenly you're on <laughs> no, my no, side. No, no, the music that they play, so it gets a break from the stupid dialogue. It's a great show. Watch it. <laughs> Declan, I don't know why you started all these arguments. Thanks for calling. <laughs> hey, Declan, have you ever been to the States? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, briefly went to New York for a week, but I've spent the most past sort of 14 months locked in a different room every sort of okay. couple of months. So, can they travel it, uh, yet? And, and today's Freedom Day, right? Yeah, freedom. Yeah, well, they say Freedom Day, but we're back in lockdown in two months. Oh, oh so yeah, We don't right, have to yeah. wear a mask anymore. I was saying I got my vaccine because I was told I was too fat. So, um, <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. So, yeah, seriously. So I got called up to oh, you got to come for your vaccine, and they were vaccinating the at-risk group. <laughs> And I was thinking, last time I checked, I didn't have anything wrong with me. Right, right. And I, and I rang up and they went, yeah, it's because you're overweight. And I was like, oh, okay. So, yeah, well. Yeah. In fact, we have to give you two vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> come back every week. How did, they, how did they know that? Are you on some list at the National Health? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, well yeah, I went, I went for a checkup sort of thing and everything. Okay. So, well, I we've got lovely free healthcare here. Well, so. uh, Declan, <laughs> I, you're the best. Can, can we call you next week? Go for it. Okay, for it. you're very very funny. Yeah, it's always yeah. great talking to you, man. Yeah. It is seriously so fun. Yeah. Hey Declan, be careful what you wish for. <laughs>
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. What you failed to mention news, <laughs> Jeff Oscar. Jeff. That's a wide tie, Jeff. Thanks. J.O. <laughs> is here. I'm here. How's what are you it going, going, everybody? Going Hi, good, good hey, to man. see you. Uh, for those of you uh, new to the show, I'm Jeff Hoske. I'm the fa from the failed to mention news desk. Yes. Uh, we give you a lot of news each week, but a lot of times we fail to mention a thing here or there. So that's what I'm here to do is give you the things. What you failed to mention okay. news, <laughs> Jeff Hoske. <laughs> The folks at Heinz Ketchup are brokering negotiations between Wiener and Bun companies to begin selling their products in packages containing equal amounts. Oh. Mm -hmm. What you failed to mention, I've recently started negotiation for the Trojan people to start selling boxes of condoms equal to the amount of women who want to sleep with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an empty box. <laughs> What you also failed to mention, uh, I don't know about uh, you, Willie, uh, this isn't a problem uh, with the uh, hot dogs and buns coming in opposite uh, or different amounts sure. uh, if you buy them 80 at a time like <laughs> I do. <laughs> The greatest common denominator, my friend. That's right. Most Americans believe in aliens. What you failed to mention, most Americans like the mass Singer, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I lost That's my mind. Right. That's uh, right. Earlier this week, we learned that trout can become addicted to meth. What you failed to mention, authorities were alerted to the issue after catching a trout trained upon a circular saw. <laughs> That's perfect. A circular. That is perfect. You, you get an image of a fish having once used the circular saw. No, no. Excellent. No, no, it still works. Still works. No, no, plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in. Yeah. Any battery operated. Yeah. It's underwater. A Virginia fisherman recently caught a three pound nine ounce goldfish in a creek. What you failed to mention, I recently found three pound nine ounces of goldfish crackers in my child's car seat. <laughs> They, they like the goldfish crackers. They love them. A lot of crumbs. Uh, earlier <laughs> today, uh, earlier today, Chick, you talked about doing a Mr. Obvious where the caller calls <laughs> in about finding a lot for sale. Yes, and there's nothing there. What yes. you failed to mention, you've already done that. It's called Bargain Hunter, and it's on a Best of Bob and Tom album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> that one slipped my mind. <laughs> Oh, well. well, what are you going to do? Huh? There's been a lot of them, people. A lot, yeah, yeah, look, a lot of years. Uh, 35 years or so, yeah. A lot of years, a lot of bits. Okay. There's a woman who named her children Metallica, Slayer, and Pantera. Yep. What you failed to mention, I wish I would have named my son Pantera just so once a week I could go, hey, your old man's getting hungry. Hey, Pantera, head on down to the Panera. <laughs> Hey, Pantera, put a lot of and go that. to the Panera. <laughs> you had a lot of energy on that one. And then it would eventually, I think, just be short to Pantera, uh. Panera. I, uh, I tried. Not since Uma Oprah, have we heard? I don't think, I don't think we gave him enough uh, praise for the way he sold yeah. that. Yeah, I, he really I, did. I sold the hell out of it. Rose out of his chair. Stunk. Oh. Yeah, like a poem. All right. <laughs> the world's largest sandcastle was constructed in Denmark this past week. It took 30 people working around the clock for two weeks to build the impressive structure. What you failed to mention, it only took seven beach bullies three minutes to stamp it flat. <laughs> oh, gosh. What you failed to mention, beach beach bully, beach bully. Jeff Oski. We have to start a reality show called Beach, beach Bullies. Bullies. Hey, nice bucket, loser. <laughs> beach Bully, Beach Bully, give me a chance. Or a legislator in Wisconsin has put forth a bill to make Colby the official state cheese. This is not the first time the bill has come before the House, but has always lacked the votes needed to pass. They feel their state should be known for their many cheeses and not be defined by just one. Sure. What you failed to mention... I'm not surprised in today's climate. They were probably all worried about coming off as lactose intolerant. Oh, <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> That's not bad, though. I feel like all the pieces are there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the words are in the right order. <laughs> it was a bit meaty. Yeah. A little clunky. Mm. A little clunky. How about this one? We learned that genes predict when you're going to lose your virginity. What you failed to mention, if they're bugle boy genes, you never will. <laughs> Oh, well. Bugle, Bugle, Bugle boy. Bugle boy. Oh, for those of you over 40. Uh, exactly. Finally, two Florida fishermen had quite a scare when one of their fishing poles was struck by lightning. What you failed to mention, the lightning strike 
properly charged up their boat's flux capacitor, and oh. the men are now fishing in 1985. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. What, what you failed to mention <laughs> is Jeff Oscar. Hey. I'm done, baby. Hey, thank you, Jeff. Hey. Very nice. That was beautiful, man. Very, Very nice. nice. Circular hey. saw. Beautiful, Circular Daddy. saw. Beautiful there. piece of oh, business. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful so piece beautiful. of business there, Jeffy. <laughs> Are meth heads known for power tools? It's, I mean, that was just a perfect <laughs> a fish. <laughs> A fish with a circular <laughs> saw and punch. Yeah. Yeah. Methods are a creative bunch. You know? Are they? Oh, yeah. That's okay. so funny. Ace Cosby in it. Are you kidding? We're, we're going to shut the show down right now? Oh, that is so exciting. Ladies and yep. gentlemen, please. <laughs> there it is. Hey, the vocals are there, too. Here he is with his joke of the day. Joke of the day. I recently learned my uh, fiance had dated a professional clown before. Oh, is that oh, right? Oh. Yeah, I had some pretty big foot shoes. It was so close. I have pretty some pretty big foot shoes. Foot, 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 foot. Come on. Just laughing before okay. I could get it out. Let's try it again. Shoes, <laughs> Take two. You got this. I recently learned my fiance dated a professional clown before she asked. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah, I had some pretty big shoes to feel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pretty big shoes to feel. Yeah. That's a nice job on that second, nice. second go around. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> live show. Live show, right? Quite really yeah, it's live, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, well, we got a lot to get to here, um, including by request for Chick McGee. Go, mm -hmm. baby. Go, we, Daddy. As we uh, celebrate the summer. Hit me. It is indeed uh, Chad and Jeremy. Uh, I love this song. And uh, I'd forgotten about this one. Here it is, Chick. Oh. Now, this is the serial killer making of <laughs> Yeah, a nice a little nice guitar line. I'm wearing a nice Real white nice. dress with daisies in Swaying my hair. Swaying in the sun. Old yes. school separation. Let's, let's get to the actual vocals. I've kind of forgotten how this goes. Trees swaying in the summer breeze, showing off their silver leaves as we walked by. So this is this is and so you see, the, what you see is a guy in a basement. Sewing a vest out of his mother's skin. Yeah. Oh, What's crap. wrong with you? Mommy didn't love me. I see a couple sitting in a nice field, and she's wearing a white dress with daisies in her I hair. I sang this song for my He's school. He's singing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> 
I sang the song for my school. Solo? Or did you have a Jeremy uh, for your It was a chat? duo. It was, yes, Nick, my uh, one of my best friend, uh, <laughs> Nick and I, we did morning announcements. You and uh, your best friend would sing together at your school? We did morning <laughs> announcements. So, we, hey, the volleyball team's going to be sure, playing. So, we'd right. go over the whole school or whatever during the morning and... Uh, uh, we said, hey, we're going on summer break. We'd like to... <laughs> do you remember it? Sing you a little song. Were you pretty, good, were you pretty good at doing the announcement? <laughs> yeah, we were all right. Maybe you should do the, always... do the announcements here because none of us can get there. <laughs> we got in trouble at least once a week because we would sneak in jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so we always, we always had to go to the vice principal's office. And get, fellas. <laughs> and by the way, uh, this is, uh, for some reason, why is it always... The vice principal that, that does the this is a I mean, punishing, and it's yeah. not the first one to notice this. Certainly, I get it, but yeah, he was a good man. Always he, the vice principal. It, yeah, he was always. We were everybody was more way more afraid of the vice principal than the principal. I was the PA announcer for the basketball games when I was uh, my senior year, and you took it seriously. Uh, mostly until they uh, almost fired me because I announced that we had an after-school poker club, and <laughs> if anybody would like to join. Uh, it was, good at, joke. Uh, it was over at Dave's. No, it was, I'm serious. Oh. It was over at Dave's house. Oh. <laughs> and uh, you, you uh, call me or, or or Bill or Dave, and we'll uh, we'll let maybe we'll let you in the after. <laughs> Second half, we'll start in a minute. Yeah, oh, so I had to do the announcements for uh, Willie's football games. You How didn't have that? to. You begged. How was that? <laughs> I bet. I bet. And he, I have a I've Midwestern gone, broadcast voice. I've uh, gone through this recently, being at a football game like that and listening to the PA, just seething. Going, oh my! I could do better than this in my sleep. Get that guy out of here. Yeah. I'll have you know, the headmaster asked me if I would the do it. And, uh, of course, the headmaster. And I'll tell you, you what. He can't not be or. protected. No, he can't. He can't. It's his life. It's his Mr. Life. Jennings it's called me yes. into his office to discuss. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Jennings. Shut up. And I, but I'll tell you what, it was. That was for Ace. It was really hard because you had to get the names right, especially of the opposing team. Well, sure. Because sure. yes. if you didn't, they'd come around the other side of the field and climb up the yeah. to the booth and <laughs> start screaming at you. Hey, yeah. Bob and Tom. Hey, Bob and Tom. <laughs> Tom, Ace has something. Yes, Ace. Now, don't forget, Chick, uh, the PA for an NFL team at one point. Yeah. yeah, and that's a Briefly. funny story, I guess. Because uh, I was asked to replace him. First of all, oh. <laughs> first and now of all. we get an answer to the animosity. Oh, don't we? Boy. First of all, it was the worst NFL season of my life because you had to be there at eleven. Game started at one, and then you hung yeah. out for an after after game meeting. So I didn't see any other game on oh. Sunday except oh. this turd of a contest. And <laughs> That's why I didn't take it, because I wouldn't miss my Raider games. And then... Uh, I can remember. <laughs> I remember what happened. They offered you. Do, do you want to right. tell everybody what you did? <laughs> oh, I just cleared my throat when they did the they did the kiss cam back then, and uh, they were this couple kissing, but I don't, it wasn't called the kiss cam. Yeah, they, they showed this couple kissing, and you went... <clears throat> on, the, <laughs> on the PA. That's all I did. Hilarious. Yeah. And they didn't... They didn't fire me right away, but after that, every week, my parking place got farther and farther <laughs> from the dome, yeah. And I was so glad to get so rid of that So that's how job. it's done? I hate that job. Wow. Hey, Josh, Why tomorrow, you just can quit? you park by that far tree? Yeah, that's uh, fine. Why do you... What? what? <laughs> Okay. Well. I was good at morning announcements. Yeah, yeah, we had fun. We had a song that would start off every morning announcement. No Did you sing? Good morning, Rockwood Summit. It's such a beautiful day. Woo. Good morning, Rockwood Summit. And then we would we would have a new line every day that rhymed with day. Oh, give me a give me an example. So say say we were the Rockwood Summit High School. How would it go for? Today? Oh, so good morning, Rockwood Summit. It's such a beautiful day. Good morning, Rockwood Summit. Horses like to eat hay, that kind of thing. Yeah. If I'm 17 years old <laughs> and I have to do that. a song every morning and it rhymes with day, I'm getting in trouble on day three. Oh, yeah. yes. I, no, no. And we, my buddy, Marcus, woo! <laughs> we would do stuff like that all the time. That's bad. That's, and that would take us into the vice principal's office. You guys, guys. The horse yeah. said that, that, that hog will make my day. <laughs>
vacation. Now, um, uh, oh, we uh, just all got back from vacation. Had a great time. Uh, most of you guys just kind of stayed. And do nothing. Stayed, what are you stayed, talking stayed, about? Stayed at home. Oh, I'm, sometimes st staycations are important. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I Marie condo the hell out of the compound. Well, I wish I had done that. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. You Marie. Oh, Marie Kondo, the, yes. uh, the, the organized his life. Yeah. Well, oh, nice. uh, <laughs> he organized. I'm sorry. His what? Life. <laughs> let's not. You mean? <laughs> no, no. My life. life. <laughs> I, let's not get... Let's go. <laughs> Lose here, here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Chick or done. Back of your hand on your forehead. But my life. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're right. He played his Well, so yesterday I told you guys about the the dad on the golf cart thing. Pretty crazy. Can I tell him about the Freddie story? Well, we were we were in the Bahamas. Willie and I were in the Bahamas. So you know how he can harass people from time to time? He's not harassing anyone. Oh. <laughs> when he, he discovers something about some. Basically, there's this lovely couple there. Sure. Uh, oh, and these they oh. had this, the misfortune. Look, you got, you got, you got, I've oh, seen it. I've seen go. it happen. These there. people manage <laughs> the yeah. facility where we were. Nice guy from Swaziland. They have a child oh, whose name is Freddie. Oh, boy. And I'm sure you guys know where this oh, is going. Yeah, the that. woman is talking to Kelly, and she's genuinely interested in one of Kelly's bracelets going, hey, what store did you get that from? My dad's not listening. He's on his phone going, oh, I got to send you this link for the Freddie. It's a hilarious <laughs> song. I'm going to send this to you. And also, the Fred song, which I produced. My friend Rodney Carrington wrote this song. She's actively asking for advice about jewelry. And he's going, I, you, you have to get this email. Wait this is so funny. You really believe that everyone in the civilized world <laughs> knows you and what you do and listens to this no, show. I think that's nice. No, this, this is a, a lovely nice. couple from Swaziland. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they they operate this facility, and I and I had her, her, heard her mention that uh, him mention that they had a new brand new baby named. There's no way you can Fred. justify this. You can talk until the cows come. And home. I you said can't. I said congratulations on your little baby Fred, and she said no, it's Freddie. All right. And I went. Oh well, have you ever heard the great song "Do the Freddie"? <laughs> Oh, well, of he course said, not. He said it like it was by the Beatles. He uh -huh. said it like it was a and song that everybody And then I explained knows. to them that during the British invasion, uh, the uh, oh, Freddie and the Dreamers. Oh. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine this poor couple? Yep. And she's going, sir, I just wanted to know about your uh, girlfriend's bracelet. <laughs> uh, and now, by the way, Chick, you'll like this part of the story. I bet I don't. I was wearing the, the pair of shoes that you got me. Yeah. What are those all, called? All birds. All birds. I told birds. you a thousand times. That's a thousand thirty-nine times I've told you. And yeah. then and you Sean know, goes, hey, those are cool shoes. What are those? And then he's going, oh, these are great. They're called bird runners. I just love these <laughs> shoes. They're fantastic. I my friend, the name of them. My friend Chad told me about them. Bird <laughs> runners. <laughs> yeah, Chip told me about these. They're amazing. Oh, if you had a kid named Freddy, wouldn't you want to know about it? I said, no. So, uh, no. No. You, you Nobody would, cares about the no. Freddy but you. <laughs> You're familiar with the term, mind your own business, right? You're familiar with that. <laughs> Great. I said, your kid's going to turn three or four years old and play this song for over and over and over. I bet he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. you, know, you know what kids from today like? Songs from 1958? With their name in it? Yeah, I don't know. Really? Kids do like songs with their names in it, but that one might mm. be. Willie, I'm, I'm sorry. I know we've had some discussions, but I, it's worse than I thought. Okay. <laughs> You're you're going to have to. You're, there are some challenges coming. I'm just glad there are still parents naming kids Fred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it, Fred. Yeah, but it's not Frederick. Or Fred, it's no, Fred. It, the, the, I, I just that's quoted the, the discussion. That's the only minute, interesting part. I heard Sean as we were getting off the boat. Sean said oh, we had a baby, and his name is Fred. And then did the next day, I ran into his wife. We were in the golf cart going down for coffee, and. Uh, I said, oh, hey, congratulations on baby Fred. She said, no, it's Freddy. Then I, I had to explain. I see. Very important. You know, this is the Freddy. Well, yeah, yeah, she so calls him vital. Freddy, but his name is Fred. <laughs> she specifically said, no, it's Freddy. So, I know couples like that. that yeah, yeah, that's fine. Sure, they yeah. disagree a little bit. Irritating. I mean, there, there's one, uh, uh, the man, who's reasonable. <laughs> and then there's the uh, woman, who's uh, irritating. Oh, right. Oh.
Maybe this is oh, him. I have no what's idea. What's that noise? Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Donnie Baker. Oh, no, just Donnie. talking about you, Donnie. Hey, you're heading yeah, to Oklahoma. Uh, Christy, for your information, I'm a good dad. Yeah? Do you take I'm him on the road? Deadbeats. Yeah, I, I, would we would vouch for me? He's out in the car. I rolled the window down. <laughs> <laughs> And you yeah. know what? Yesterday at summer school, they got Whiffy memorizing these stupid state slogans. So he's been repeating them like a parrot nonstop. Oh, sure. <laughs> like, Josh, you know this one. Missouri is the show me state. That's right. So he's got that one down, which I hate hearing about because my mom Phyllis crossed Missouri state line once. <laughs> whipped off her top, showed her <laughs> fake hammers, and end up in jail. <laughs> It'd be a few years before I tell him about that factoid. Yeah. But anyways, after looking through all these, I could easily come up with better state slogans than the inventors of these stupid states anyway. Really? Do me one. I swear to God, like Hawaii's slogan, you know what it is? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's called the Islands of Aloha. Okay. <laughs> that ain't a slogan. I'd have went with Hawaii. Uh, welcome to America's Dippin' Dots. <laughs> Swear to God. That's interesting. <laughs> I know you ever see wine on a globe. It looks like somebody dropped about six Dippin' Dots on the globe. You know, Alaska's slogan is um, beyond your dreams. Okay. I'd go with Alaska. When you got warrants in the other 51 states. <laughs> Alaska. Okay. Those are only 50 the other states. You know, I'm not going to argue with them. I know, man. I'm on, a, I'm on a run. Here's some more I came up with. Let me unfold this Burger King wrapper. Okay. <laughs> sure, right sure. Okay. Um, uh, I love this one. Portland, where old timey mustaches go to die. Um, <laughs> Portland, Donny, Donny, Donny. Uh, Portland is technically not a state, it's a city. Of course. You mentioned that, Tom. Okay, then how about this one? Um, New Mexico. Here's my new slogan. New Mexico. We got that house from Breaking Bad with the pizza on the roof. And that's about it. It's the land of enchantment. That's a, that's a long, long slogan. <laughs> okay, I like this one. Florida. Uh, we can't all live forever. <laughs> or how about this one? Florida. Without us, Christy Lee wouldn't have any crazy news stories. That's true. <laughs> oh, Oh, um, <laughs> Arkansas, where you could even get your little rocks off. <laughs> little rocks. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's good. I good probably just tripled her tourism. <laughs> How about um, Colorado? Skip Kentucky. Who needs bluegrass state when you can live in the smoke grass state? <laughs> oh, yeah. marijuana yeah. promotion. Because yeah. they smoke weed, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We we about that. <laughs> okay. How about this one? Nevada. Bet. Bake and breed. Just bring about two bags of whore feed. <laughs> I, that's my favorite so far. Whore feed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Would Doritos work? Josh, I knew you'd be on board. <laughs> oh, and last and foremost, Mississippi. Come on, man. We got PP in our name. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. If you write it down, they do. It's right oh, there. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, there. here comes Randy. I gotta go. Okay, oh, thanks. Bye, Bye.
you there? I, I, I'm yeah. here, and I might have missed the hot dog conversation. All right. You just great now. You missed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Al, we were discussing, apparently it's yesterday was National Hot Dog Day. Yes, it was. And uh, there's a, uh, I'll have to dig it up. There's a Clint Eastwood hot dog line. But this this survey says that more people prefer ketchup on a hot dog than a mustard. And I totally surprising. agree with that. That's correct. But not by much. 62%. 62%. 27% chose mustard. So it's a big deal. I don't deal. know what the rest of them picked. I Both. think that's I, where ketchup shines yeah. is on hot dogs and fries. But that's, mm-hmm. you know, the, you know, I think that mustard, it's, it's definitely not ketchup, but it's definitely the Pepsi. It, of the really uh, condiment world, I like think that's need, totally fair. Yeah, you need mm-hmm. a mustard. Mustard's in there. Pepsi is a very respectable, huge company too. It's just yes. not ketchup. Yeah, right. Now uh, this was interesting to me. No matter what you like, fifty-seven percent of respondents said they put condiments on the bun. No. Before putting the hot dog on. Oh, oh that? wow, the majority. Yeah, oh, that's I wrong. I can't believe that. Then the bread soaks it up. Yes. Uh, no, awful. you put it on top of the hot dog. Uh, unless you use your cheese, you put cheese there, and then you put yeah, your hot dog and kind of melt the cheese disgusting. a little bit. Yeah. And now, what you do is you split the hot dog down the middle, and you put the cheese in there, and it, the hot dog melts it. Oh, that's a good idea. You yeah. ever seen one yeah. of those spiral hot dogs all cut up, and so you get the condiments right in there? No. no. Oh, yeah. No. Now, Al, uh, would you call it a hot dog sandwich? <laughs> Who says no. that? Yeah, that's weird. Here's my thoughts with that. I'm like, it's still a hot dog if you take it out of the bun or not. You could take, you could make a hot dog in the microwave with no bun and eat it and tell somebody you made a hot, you had a hot dog. Sure. You wouldn't just have some ham and eat it just on a plate and then say I had a ham sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Good point. That's true. The man's a genius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, um, I'm still trying to find uh, what Clint Eastwood said about hot dogs, but uh, an interesting survey, certainly. I would never have thought that more people put ketchup on hot dogs than mustard. Really? I like ketchup oh. and mustard. I, I don't like them both. That's disgusting. I just like ketchup. Well, you don't like I, mustard. I, I, would, I would make the argument, Christy, that a hot dog is the only food that tastes radically different on the grill. It's almost a di- it, it's such a different taste and such a better taste that I hold out for barbecues because I don't want to disrespect a hot dog mm. by boiling it like yeah. some sad witch. I might be able, <laughs> I might I will, be able to I blow your wait. mind here, Al. Use your air yes. fryer. It's just like mm-hmm. a grill almost. It's oh. amazing. Hot dog in an air fryer? Hot dog in an air fryer. Oh, oh, world. Strong. Yeah, but, yeah, but when, you, when you grill it, you're outside, you're having fun. <laughs> yeah, but you know you're what? hot. You're hot. Yeah. Mosquitoes. Bugs, get stung by bees. You yeah. got to go out there and start the grill. The air fryer's done yeah, in five got, minutes. You, you got you out there trying to get lava lock. Or lava <laughs> yeah, you got to light the yeah. charcoal. You gotta... I love starting the grill. That that that, that, yeah. that sound. That whoosh. Sure. Oh yeah. When yeah. you yeah. see like the whole experience. Since, uh-huh. since your eyebrows, I love all that. Stuff. I worked with a woman who uh, she was she was in a, a cubicle next to me. She would eat every day. Hot dogs raw out of the package. Ew. No, no. She, yeah. be, she and, would bring in. I, I, and I'm not kidding. She had six hot dogs a day. Are you, you kidding me? You should have citizens arrested her right then and there. We were all real bummed out. What'd she weigh? Oh man, she weigh she weighed what you think she weighed. <laughs> she still yeah. 